Embrace the strange, today's illusion is beyond we see. Cryptic, yes. Furtive, maybe. Mostly. Recycled. The title is a rephrased, also maybe sort of plagiarized version of something I wrote back in circa 2015-2016. That's a guess. I think it was a poem. I can't remember all of it. I don't know why it came back to me out of the blue, but I'm going to go with it. Visually, the concept follows portals to and grow, although less invasive, and better rendered, although maybe it's just a title, but it brings to mind a uh, also old painting, circa 2018, called Skin Hold Us Both. It was quite angsty. <laughs> Wound tight into cohesion and purpose, seated with its hollow back to the onlooker, the figure has wrangled its elongated neck. It wraps around the arm like a snake as a hand cradles its head tenderly through the hollow of its body, whilst the other hand appears to have aided in the process, whether its retrieval or delivery is unclear. That is left to the viewer to decide, along with the meaning of the hollows, as it serves as possibly a threshold. Birth versus death, conscious versus unconsciousness, time versus timeless, concealed within the figure's three green eyes, pure out, placid but alert, secure in its vulnerability. I worked on this for roughly an hour. Mind you, this is the second page of my 6x6 six six canvas paper pad. I love it, partly because I see it as a redemption piece for portals to and grow. As a standalone, that piece, I didn't love it. It felt off to me, but this feels truer to the idea. Maybe it's the mix of angles and flow. I've been doing nonfiction art reading lately, and it's quite engulfing. Very layered. I've taken a lot of notes, and something I read fits here from... Wassily Kandinsky, he theorized the psychological indications of lines. <laughs> Keep up, follow along, yes, that's what he did. He identified the main three as right angle, denoting objective, coldness, and self-control, whilst the acute angle, he correlated with warmth, activity, and severity, such as sharpness and tension, then obscure, which I don't completely understand, and there is no picture. This was used to elaborate on this particular artist's work. I can only guess he means a curve or unsteady line because that's the middle ground left between the other two he identified. He associated it to weakness, clumsiness, and expressing passivity. Now, this reminded me a lot of the ideas of graphology or handwriting analysis, but he applied it to the creation of art. Vision, he equated to the acute angle. It is sharp and active. The work, the right angle, is cool and controlled. The finished product is obscure and weak. <laughs> I don't know if he meant to be so critical, but I got it before, hence why I wrote it down. But looking at this piece now, I really get it. How about you? Do you? Do you get it? I don't know. If you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.